Um, if you get the GG error, it's not good game. You're still fine. <laughs> if we preview this running application, yeah, I'm glad you like that. We pop it um, over here for a second, and then I'm gonna pop it into a new screen. And then I'm gonna check in my console, see what's up. Um, I get an error right now that says, could not load the fav icon, that's totally fine. I don't care about that. Now when I click sign in with Google, let's see what happens, you ready? Ba bam Okay, takes me to a new screen. I have this cool little loading symbol up here. Thanks, Google. This is pretty cool looking. Wait, I get this for free? Did we code that out? No. Google did it for us. Well, Firebase did it for us. But why is it not working? What's going on here? Oh, boom. I get a little error. It said, the pop-up has been closed before finalizing the authorization. Now, check out this info right here. This is your clue. The current domain is not authorized for OAuth operations. This will prevent sign in with pop-up, sign in with redirect, link with pop-up, and link with redirect from working. But here's where we need to, what we need to do next. Add your domain, prep for prep, jastro11.c9users.io to the OAuth redirect domains list in the Firebase console.auth section.signin method tab. It literally tells us exactly what to do, and that's the coolest part about Firebase. Grab this little link right there that they told you you need to add and copy it. Okay, if you don't have this little warning, you need to add, take this little part right up here, right up in your browser, the URL. You need to grab that, the part that comes before the question mark, C9 live preview, whatever. And you need to go into your Firebase console. Right here. Oh, sorry, not that one. This one. And see where it says sign in providers and authorized domains? You need to add a domain to it right there. Click add domain and paste in what it told you to paste in. And click add. Ta da! And it should say custom right there. Let me go over this one more time so you know what's up. It gave us a clue. It said that our current domain is not authorized for OAuth, like sign in with Google, preventing it from working. So we need to grab this part right here from our URL, the part that ends in .c9users.io, and we need to go to our Firebase console right here for node Firebase intro, whatever you named yours. Go into the authentication tab, click on the sign in method. Make sure that Google is enabled right here. If you didn't enable Google earlier, you need to click on that little symbol there and make sure that says enabled and save that. And then come down to add domain and add in exactly the domain it told you to, just like this. Now, I already did it, so I'm going to cancel this one, but this will allow. Google or other third party OAuths to authenticate. And once you've done that, by the way, we did it. Mama, we made it. You ready? Head back to your application and refresh it so we get rid of all those errors. And then click sign in with Google and let's see what we get back. Okay, it loads up. Now I've already done this. You might have to have a little login screen and select your Google account, but I've already done it and you'll see, oh, check it out, I get a response back. Now we're in business. If you didn't get this, let me know and I'll come around and help you out. Now this object we're getting back has some info about each one of us, most likely. I, let's look at the user. What info do I get about the user? Okay, some stuff in there. I don't know what this means, no idea. No clue. Oh, we get an array with nothing in it. Sounds good. An array with one thing in it. That's a function. No idea. Sounds good. Don't know what's going on there. Doesn't matter. Oh, but check this out. My display name. That's me, Mr. Jeff Astor. My email. Is my email verified? Yes, it is. Then I get this thing right here. This IE. Anyone know what that is? Look at that thing. That right there is what's known as a token. That token is a string that encodes information about the user. 
So there's a ton of information about the user that you get with this string if you know how to decode it. We don't need to know how to decode it because Firebase does, and that's all that matters. That token's gonna be important later on. We also have my phone number, which you will not see, my photo URL, and a refresh token, which is super important. And then down here, we have a user ID. Now that UID, I wonder if I can see that again. I want you to take note of this right now. Everyone see this UID? Take note of that. When I go back into my Node Firebase console, and I go up to where it says users, I won't click on users. Oh, look at that. Does that UID look similar, look familiar? That's because it's the same thing. Y'all are some brilliant children. Love that. Reading, y'all are great at it. So we've now created a user in our application and we can do whatever we want and we have a unique way to identify this user. This user has a unique ID. That's like an ID tag that makes sure that our computer can I know exactly who our user is at any time. This is what's really cool about Firebase. It makes it easy to store information about the user. Ready? But the question is like, now that we have that info, like what do we do with it? Well, a good thing to do is to send it to the server so that any new routes also get the user attached to them. Now to do that is a little more complicated. So for now, we're just gonna do a little tiny session on what we can do with some of this info. I'm going to create right here an image, IMG, SRC equals nothing, right above this. And then I'm gonna create, and I'm gonna give it an ID of pick, ID equals Google pick. And then below that, I'm gonna create a paragraph tag with nothing in it. And I'm gonna give an ID of Google or Google email. And you could probably guess what I'm gonna start doing with all of this information. Maybe phone number, um, maybe display name, yup. Let's go with, uh, at the very top, I'm gonna make a little um, H3 and I'm gonna give it an ID equals Google display name. What I would like you to do as your next challenge is take the information you get back from the user and inside the dot then set the image paragraph and H3 to be the, oh, to be the photo URL of my Google account, email, and display name, respectively. I want you to use what you know about DOM manipulation to update our little page right there with all of my information that I just got from Google. Which one right here? Which one, Daryl? Google dash display name. Now the reason why I got that, Daryl, is because if you look back at the, at the response when I signed in with Google, it says right there, display name, Mr. Jeff Astor. That's me. Now where are you gonna find it? In the response. So take a look, it's an object, user, display name. And you can see the path right there. So take that and see if you can update the DOM with all the necessary information. Now there's other stuff in here like credential, access token, ID token, provider ID that we're gonna use later. And additional user info, like a profile object with my family name, my gender, a link, my locale. If you wanna use that info, you can use that info too. But I just want you to start out with something small as like a little task and then we'll get to the rest of it later on. Any questions? Yes. Go back to the code? Most definitely. Um, here's the code, but I'm gonna end this video here and you can start updating your little page whenever you are ready and I will come try and fix all the errors that we saw uh, as this little session was going. Cool, great work, peoples. See you in a minute.